Hey guys, Etienne Kubao here. I'm back again doing my YouTube videos and today I'll be talking about all things Bits of War. The universe, the characters, where we are with the new books that are coming very soon. Um, the, yes, and more details about other exciting things that we've been working on for the last few months. As we talk now, Bits of War is being, uh, Bits of War 5 is being uh, inked and the colors will start straight after that and uh, the most exciting part of this video that i wanted to make today is the characters and why the characters are important to me and how i ended up creating these characters so with the etians from my name etienne so the e t i a n s from etienne uh, those are the people of the planet Kuiper planet and that's where et comes from E.T. is a half-breed, half-human, half-alien. His father is from that world. His mother is from planet Earth. So Kepler planet represents where I come from in Africa and Scotland being the playground of where the story is happening right now is these countries where I live, Glasgow. So yeah, I kind of wanted to link the two worlds in a fictional story. So you've got Kepler that represents where I come from and Scotland where, is where I live now. When it comes to characters with E.T., I kind of want the story to be as personal as possible. So kind of E.T. is me, the first reference is me, but the character is dealing with things that might have dealt in the real world, but in a more cooler, uh, science fictional way, you know, to kind of make them exciting, you know? You, you can't tell, you know, superhero stories by making them real, like a real life. It won't be as exciting. So E.T. is coming from a plan being attacked by these robotic invaders, but E.T. is also facing the huge problem with his power that he recently, uh, that he got during a military training when he was sort of like young and growing up on that planet after something happened and he ended up on Kepler, which you will get revealed in volume two. I don't really want to spoil it for you. So is this two characters that I'm mainly focused on, Staff and E.T. Two characters on a journey to self-discovery. E.T. is trying to find a way to save his planet from robotic invaders, but also find a solution to his condition. And you've got Staff, who's trying to prove that he can, read, he can lead the Razor Gang. The Reza gangs are these gangs who ran the streets of Glasgow, the streets of Glasgow in the 1920s, mostly in the east and south of Glasgow. And I kind of wanted to bring them in the story. Why I like this sort of super villain, villain look where you've got characters that are, you know, suited up, they've got hearts, but they're humans as well. They are psychotic. You know, these gangs ran the streets of Glasgow. I kind of wanted to bring them in because it feels real. It keeps the story really grounded because if you're reading a superhero story i mean for me i like stories that are close to reality you've got that fear that this guy could be real these characters happened they could be among us it's more like when you think about like a superman story a batman story uh or the punisher you know these characters kind of feel real in a way based on what you've read or how you connect with them so i kind of wanted to bring the reza gang into it because they are part of the Scottish history and give them that prominent role. You know, they, they are antagonists of the story and you've got Iti who is the protagonist of the story. And I want to see where these two characters end up. So Steph is the new leader of the gang here in Glasgow, but he's got a boss in Edinburgh called Arthur, which is going to be interesting. So with volume two coming next year, I really want to take time to dive in into each character's story arc so you get to understand who they are, why they act the way they act, as well as bring E.T. in their world, which is going to be really, really interesting. So yeah, that's where we are with Beats of War. I don't really want to talk about so much that is going to happen in issue 5 and volume 2. I kind of want to leave, leave that there with Arthur, Steph, E.T., and this whole one uh, big universe that we, we're creating. Um, so with bits of what happening, we also have uh, something else that is exciting that we're working on, which is Jelani. You probably see me post a few few snippets about it, but you know that's just the subtitle. Jelani is just the subtitle. You know how you've got the big title and the you know subtitle. You know some sort of like subtext of what the story is about. Like for example, in, in uh, of war uh, the subtitle the 
mini title is like the fall of eight years but we're gonna reveal the main title of that graphic novel which is very exciting i feel like with jelani i'm exploring those dark sides of me things that i'm afraid of things that are happening to the world and it's taking me back to the roots my african roots i feel like with comic books i really want to approach it from a, an afro futuristic angle because obviously I'm exploring my characters, African characters, things that I really understand deeply and infuse that with the Western worlds of, you know, civilization, the way we live in the Western world. I mean, Scotland, the UK, America. I saw me having moved from Africa to Scotland. I want to always find a way of telling African stories, but infuse them in that new world of where I live right now, so, which is really exciting. It's a different angle. There's so many things about my character and other characters that I'm bringing to these stories. And I know a lot of kids, a lot of people who are into comic books that have ever been to Africa or not, but the character, they will see, you know, they'll connect with it. And if you're into science as well, because obviously with ET and the neutral power, um, there's so many layers different themes things that you're gonna really find exciting in the series so don't forget to subscribe uh share this video about update of what we're working on uh beats of war jelani just the subtitle that's just not the final title of the graphic novel but it's pretty exciting for us to be talking about it and we have other few collaborations that are happening right now which we can't talk about until things are announced it's really exciting and finally before i go we're gonna be announcing our subscription packs uh, if you want to support the universe if you want to get free shipping if you want to get other goodies that you know other people won't get you're gonna you know you're gonna be in for a treat you know so we'll announce those packs in the coming few weeks and they'll be right at our website you can go and subscribe and it will be a small fee that'll be pay to the ATN universe and you'll be getting some stuff that will be in part of our part. It's something I will announce before you know it comes out so you guys know which ones you can go and pick up. This is where we are with the ATN universe and I'm pretty excited about the future and things that I'm working on. Currently, before I go, I want to say that we are on 90 pages, 95 pages of volume 2 and it's going to be sent to the editors next week. And from there, we will be ready to go with volume two. So you won't be getting issues anymore. I think with the issues, uh, issue one, two, three, and four and five, I kind of wanted to introduce the world. And at some point when you start something like this, you don't know where the story is going, where the characters are going to grow. And now I have the whole vision in my head of where the story is going to go. And from next year, chunk of a book. Don't forget to subscribe and welcome to the ATN universe.